Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. One of the main reasons for a low score in the Task 2 writing test is the failure to answer the question properly. This can lose you several band scores. Whilst your language skills may be good enough to earn you a band 7 or 8, not fully answering the question could reduce your score to a band 6 or even lower. There are four mistakes that students regularly make. One, they don't spend time carefully reading and analysing the question. Two, they fail to recognise the type of question being asked. Three, they don't fully understand the question. And four, they write about the general topic rather than answering the specific question. Points two to four are all a consequence of point one, that is, not spending time carefully reading and analysing the question. So, why don't students read IELTS Writing Task 2 questions properly? The answer I nearly always get when I challenge students over this is that they don't have time, as they feel that they need to start writing straight away to get their essay done in the 40 minutes allowed. To be blunt, you don't have time not to carefully read and understand the question. If you don't, you probably won't achieve the mark you need and will have to retake your exam. The good news is, it's quick and easy to analyse and understand Task 2 questions once you know how. You just need to identify three different types of words. Topic words, other key words and instruction words. I'll show you how. So let's look at a typical Task 2 question. Students perform better in school when they are rewarded rather than punished. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Discuss both views and give your own opinion. The format of Task 2 questions is always the same. You will be given a statement on a topic of general interest. The statement will be a specific point of view, a problem or argument related to the topic. And you will be asked to respond to the statement. Now we'll identify the three different types of words in our sample question. The topic words are the ones that identify the general subject of the question. You can see them highlighted. So this question is about how students perform in school. Many people do this first step of the process and then write about the topic in general. This is a serious mistake and leads to low marks. What we need to do now that we know the general topic is to understand exactly what aspect of student performance we are being asked to write about. The other key words in the question tell you the specific topic you must write about. They define the opinion or opinions stated in the statement. In this question they are better, rewarded and punished. By highlighting these words it's easy to see that you are being asked your view on whether reward or punishment leads to better student performance. Your essay must only include ideas relevant to these key words. Now for the instructions on the type of essay you should write. The instruction words tell you exactly what to write about. This question asks us to give our opinion and to discuss both the views stated. 25% of your marks are determined by how well you answer the question. So, even if you have band 8 language skills, you could still drop down to a band 6 overall score for failing to follow the instructions. Here are the three different types of words highlighted together. This process should take you no more than two minutes in your exam. Make it the first thing you do. The more you practice it before your test, the quicker and easier it will become. You can start practicing right away with these sample task two questions. Pause the video and identify the three different types of words in each. Then check your answers on the next slide. Did you identify the same keywords as I did? The topic words are blue, the other keywords are red and the instruction words are green. Pause the video again if you need a few moments to study my answers. You now know how to understand and analyse task 2 questions and I promise you that it's worth taking the time to do this in your test. The more you practice, the quicker you'll become. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another lesson soon. Goodbye for now.